It's fly day and today I'm going to be talking all about swimmers and I'm going to be sharing a secret cat's whisker pattern with you. So let's get tying. So why is it actually called a swimmer? Well when I attach the booby eyes you will see. But first of all I'm going to share a little secret with you. And what is that, I hear you ask? Well, this is a pattern that's been a closely guarded secret for a couple of years. I think it's out there now, but some of you might not know about it. So, I'm using the, the UT Silk there, but I've just slipped in a little bit of red holographic. And that's all I'm going to do is little turn at the back end and then that's it it's as simple as that and it's a trigger point just at the back end for the fish to hone in on for some reason it does attract a lot more fish now originally for the reservoirs guys will use um, a lot of fritz so they'll use red fritz in the back end and then they'll use the body with fritz as well but i'm just doing a slimmer version that's why i'm using this color silk right we'll go back down again just give it that extra bit of color keeping that red in the back end right then we get our white marabou and yes I hear you saying well my cat's whiskers got a tail well guess what mine hasn't and sometimes you get a lot of tail nips so if you don't have a tail you're not going to get the tail nips. Simple as. Right, we'll just strip that off. I'm going to tie that in. Let's get rid of a bit of the fluff so it's easier to tie in. So now, if I just put a head on that, standard. Cat's whiskers. I'll just trim all this off first, giving me room to get that in. Oh, I need a new pair of scissors. Alright, that'll do. I'll just tidy that up a little bit. So, standard booby now. You would just tie in a big, the booby eyes, but I'm using really mini ones. And why are they called swimmers? Well, if you look at all the boobies on the market, they're big-eyed monsters designed to float. Swimmers, as the name suggests, is designed to swim. So the buoyancy of the booby eye is just there to counteract the weight of the hook and the pattern. So a swimmer booby is not designed to float it's actually designed to sink very very slowly so cut a small piece of ubi i'm doing it sideways so i just split it that way yeah a couple of turns and then we'll turn it back and then figure of eight around all right we'll just do that there underneath the hook around so you get them centered on the top like that and then whip finish or I just use my half hitch tool couple of turns of silk there pull it on a couple more right and there is a very very simple cat swimmer obviously then just trim off the size of the sides of the foam 
so it doesn't spin and then with a the wing what I do I'll actually for the size of this pattern I'll put my thumb and finger over the whole thing and then there never ever cut marabou just hold it there just pull it out and then you get all that straggly bits of end if you went with the scissors it just goes square that is much better because as you can if I wet it now see the wispy ends there and right at the back end you can see that red even though it's just one turn of red holographic you see just that trigger point and it can be far more deadly than just a bog standard cat's whisker so the cat swimmer deadly and simple to tie well folks i hope you enjoyed that flight if you did tell your mates so they can enjoy it as well and don't forget we've got loads more videos here on our youtube channel covering all different types of flies. We've got guest tires like that superstar Matthew Pate. Also, if you tie your own flies, do me a favor, send us a picture. You can post it on our Facebook page, HM Fly Fishing. You can also follow us on Twitter, HM Fly Fishing. And guess what? We're doing some stuff live as well on Periscope. See you again.